the rate of a reaction run at 22 degrees Celsius increased by a factor of 7 when the temperature was increased. The activation energy for this reaction had previously been determined to be 54 kilojoules per mole. According to the Arrhenius law, at what temperature must this reaction have been run to cause a sevenfold increase in the rate? Okay, in this case, we have a chemical change, um, and uh, we know the activation energy, and we know the initial temperature, 22 degrees Celsius, and we know that the, um, the, um, by the amount at which the rate increased, what we'd like to know is what was that second temperature um, that caused that sevenfold increase in the reaction rate. So to solve this, I can remember the Arrhenius relationship between the uh, natural log of k, the rate constant, and the temperature. And remember that there's um, a, another relationship um, between uh, two rate constants, k2 and k1, and the corresponding temperatures at which those rate constants were um, determined. And it is the natural log of k2 over k1 equals the activation energy divided by the gas constant, um, <clears throat> times 1 over T1 minus 1 over T2. And in this case, um, what I can do is recognize I don't have either one of the rate constants, but I do have that the rate increased by a factor of 7. So then I can just say, uh, you know, the ratio of K2 to K1 is 7. Um, the activation energy is given is 54 kilojoules. So I'm going to uh, convert that to joules because the gas constant that I memorized um, is in units of joules per mole Kelvin. And um, the initial temperature was 22 degrees um, Celsius, so that's the lower temperature. So I'm going to have the lower temperature associated with K1 um, since it, it went faster at the higher temperature. So that I'll let my higher temperature be T2. So um, if I'm going to let T1 be equal to 22 degrees Celsius, um, I have to remember that, of course, this is based on um, the relationship between the activation energy and the gas constant, which is in units of Kelvin. So I have to express this in units of Kelvin minus 1 over T2. So um, if I do the math there, just take the natural log of 7 and um, divide by this quotient 54 times 7 to the third divided by um, 8.134, and then um, uh, Subtract or uh, subtract this number from both sides of the equation, and then uh, take the inverse. I can calculate the T two all in my calculator, and that will give me three hundred and twenty four Kelvin. But I should express this in Celsius since the original temperature was given Celsius. So in terms of Celsius, this is fifty one degrees Celsius. So this is how you use this handy equation that relates the uh, rate constant to uh, temperature.